Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in signals and systems. In this video lecture, we will consider the sixth property of DTFS, which is nothing but the Parsons theorem of DTFS. So first, again, what we do is we shall consider the statement and then we shall consider the proof for the same. Yes, first let me consider the statement and the statement goes something like this: If x of n, the given discrete time signal x of n, leads to if x of n leads to x of k by taking DTFS, then then one over n. So this is one over n summation n that is small n over the range capital N. Magnitude of x of n square. This is equal to summation k over the range capital N magnitude of x of k square. So this is the definition of Parsons theorem. So now I shall consider. I have to consider the proof for the same. So let me consider the proof. So if I look closely, the LH of this expression, the LHS, the left hand side of this expression is nothing but the average power. Do you remember this? So this we have considered in the very earlier videos of signal systems. So this is nothing but the average power of periodic discrete time signal x of n. Is that okay? So now therefore I would write power p is equal to 1 over n summation n this is over the range capital N magnitude of x of n square. So I would consider LHS of uh, this statement and I would prove this equal to RHS that is the summation k over the range n magnitude of x of k square. So this I would prove something like this. So now if I would write the equation can be written as the equation I would write the equation can be written as so let me consider the equation can be written as so what I am doing now is I will consider the comp uh, concept of uh, complex conjugate and I would write P which is equal to 1 over n summation n over the range capital N magnitude of x of n square can be written as x of n into x star of n is that okay so using the concept of complex conjugate I could write something like this is that okay so now what I do is I would write the expression for x star of n is that okay? So what must be x star of n? So for that I would write. Oh, we know that. So let me write. We let me consider. We know that x of n is equal to. So the expression for x of n we already know. So what must be the expression for x of n, which is equal to summation k over the range capital n. I have x of k e to the power j k omega naught n. This is the expression for x of n. Can I read the expression for x star of n? Yes. What must be x star of n? So let me consider that x star of n is equal to summation k over the range capital N. x of n, x of k leads to x star of k and e to the power j k omega naught leads to e to the power minus j k omega naught n. Is that okay? So now substitute x star of n in the expression. So let me write substituting substituting x star of n in the above expression in the above expression. 
So let's see what I'm going to get. So I would consider P is equal to 1 over N. So here I have summation N over the range capital N. I have uh, X of N that gets multiplied with X star of N. What must be X star of N? So now I got it as summation K over the range capital N. I have X star of K e to the power minus J K omega naught N. Correct? So now this expression we have, what could be the next step? So if I look closely, again I have got two summations over here. To, for the further simplification, I need to change the order of summation. So let me write that. Changing. Changing the order of summation changing the order of summation so if i change the order of summation what i'm going to get so i would get p is equal to so first i would write the second summation that is summation k over the range capital n x star of k x star of k. So I would write this first and the rest all terms later. That is 1 over n summation n over the range capital N. Now I have x of n e to the power minus j k omega naught n. So what must be this equation? So let me consider this is here I would write summation k over the range capital N I have x star of k so this is nothing but it is the DTFS of x of n which is nothing but x of k correct so this comes from the state expression of DTFS. This is the given signal, discrete time signal x of n. DTFS of that is equal to x of k, which is equal to this expression. So I could write that as x of k. Correct? So now moving further, summation k over the range n. What is this? x of k multiplied with x star of k is nothing but magnitude of x of k square. Correct? So we considered the uh, power p. What is nothing but uh, p equal to p is nothing but 1 over n summation. We considered n small n over the range capital N magnitude of x of n square. And we made it equal to summation k over the range capital N magnitude of x of k square. Hence the proof. So finally I would write hence the proof. So this is the statement and the proof of Parseval's theorem. One of the very important properties of a discrete time Fourier series that is Parseval's theorem. I've explained this step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NJ Classes for more videos in signals and systems. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.